survivors, Cougar here, trying to evolve my clan and ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. Oh, not off to a good start. That's me. Oh, I took a tumble. The Earth's first face plant. Possibly not the first. All right, now just to tell you right off the bat, this game does recommend that you play with a controller. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, so there are going to be some issues uh, um, that I hope we can work through together. Uh, tapping E to access my intelligence. Now I'm looking for a hiding spot, like maybe up there. Holding the left mouse button to identify it, and releasing to actually get the identification. Now I'll memorize that spot with E on the keyboard. Now it's been memorized. Now I should just try to move to it. So what I'm trying to do is get to a safe place now after tumbling out of the nest so that um, an adult member of my clan can come and get me. Now just to clear up some, some information here, um, for one thing, cutscenes are skippable. You saw that uh, I used tab to get rid of a, a pop-up uh, notification there. If you hold tab, hold tab during the cutscenes to skip them. All right, I've found a nice place to hide. All right, good. So now he'll chill out there for a minute and call for help while I transfer back to another member of my tribe, my clan. Alright, this is my clan here, doing clan stuff. I can hear that little guy calling me. Can you hear him down there? Yeah, this is just giving me some tutorial messages and stuff. I've got my senses, I've got intelligence. By pressing E, I can look at stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff is yet, but just identifying that I don't know what it is is enough to advance my intelligence a little bit. Basically, by growing neurons, it's telling me that I'm accumulating XP, and we're going to use that XP later to enhance our uh, evolution. Tap Q to use your senses to help you locate any member of the clan. So this is my hearing sense. It tells me that I look around and then follow steps on the contextual AI. The hearing's not really doing much for me here, so I'm just going to keep moving. But I can also smell um, somehow. Yeah, there's nothing around for me to smell right now. So, All right, now i got to get down there without killing myself, which is not as easy as it sounds. Although there's a beautiful big branch up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up there. I'm gaining XP just from moving around, jumping around and stuff. Now you can take pretty high falls. You can fall from good heights and not get hurt. But I don't want to risk it at this stage. We're just going to try to make this as safe as possible. It sounds like I should be down on the ground now, so let's try and get down there. Grabbing foliage and creepers, jump, then hold spacebar to grab the foliage of the creepers when passing through it. Uh, trunks, branches, and rock walls are grabbed automatically. There he is, right here. Now we gotta let him know that it's safe to come out. So we're going to tap. I don't want to intimidate. There we go, we want to comfort him. So call and response. Not really sure how this works or what I'm doing here, but it seems to be going up. There we go. Alright, now we've got a baby. So, babies are basically XP multipliers. When you've got a baby on your back, you're gaining more XP from everything you do. Now, there's another baby. Uh, we can stay down here and do some exploring and stuff. You know, like check out some of the things that we don't know anything about, like this tree here. Oops. Sorry, I'm still trying to work out these controls. 
this tells me I don't know anything about it, but if we go over to it and, and we should be able to grab something off it. And you see it's got that the weird black smoke around it telling me that I don't know what it is, but I can inspect it by holding Q. And now I won't be scared of it anymore. I discovered a new tool. Not much I can do with it right now, I'm just going to drop it. And in fact, I'm going to head back up to my clan and get another baby. There I, there should be another baby up there, and with two babies, uh, you are gaining a lot more XP because they're learning everything that you're learning as you go along. So, again, there's, there is stuff that we could be doing down here on this level, but I want to get that other baby first to maximize our XP accumulation. If you look at the lower right-hand corner, that is not a mini-map or anything. That is telling you the status of your clan. So there are two little baby on the lower right-hand corner of that circle. Those are babies. You see one of them has a line attached to the center. That is the baby that's on my back. There's another baby as, that is a member of the clan that is not on my back. And then there are three adults on the left-hand side of that circle and two elders at the top of the circle. This is going to be a little tricky. Let's keep going up. Oh, oh, I missed. Woo-hoo. Okay. Yeah. Dismiss with tab. We're actually going a little higher than we have to here. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful. The controls are not bad with mouse and keyboard. They're, they're not great either. Um, I have a controller. I just... Look, here's something new. I'm going to go ahead and, and check this out because I'm going to inspect this even though we only have one baby on our back right now because this is a very useful thing. So this is Kephawk Fiber. Oh no, this is a mumbin. Oh, okay. Uh, we can try eating. Let's see if it makes us sick. Yeah, we... We don't like it very much. I'm just gonna drop it. Alright, let's see if we can get over to the cliff wall without dying. <gasps> oh boy. Oh, that was close. Uh, you, you probably won't die unless you fall from a very, very great height, but you will break a leg. And you can even get cuts and lacerations, uh, all of which you should be able to self-treat. The graphics are okay, not mind-blowing. Whoa, no, 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 no. Try, try again. You know, there's an overhang up there. We're not going to be able to get up above that stuff, but I think we should be able to move. <gasps> no! All right, see? All right, these the controls are just a little unusual. They're unusual. Let's put it that way. You, hold, you release a button to jump. So I'm holding down space right now, which lets me, lets me climb and sprint and stuff. I mean, you'll climb, otherwise, wow, we're running out of... We've been climbing for a really long time now, and we're running out of uh, stamina. See, our, our bar at the bottom is red. I'm just going to get back down to the ground. Oh, and we're there. All right. So we, we moved around enough that we actually got to where our clan was. So now we're back with our clan. Hey, everybody, and there's another little baby. We need to rest. I need to stop moving for a second so that we can rest. Okay. There's another baby. Ah, we're back with our clan. These two babies are friends, or maybe siblings. Yay, they're happy to see each other. So this is 10 million years ago. This is right when uh, chimps and humans started to differentiate as species. Or speciate, as it is known.
So if you're thinking these look more human than the chimps that I think of as chimps, well, yeah, they are, because these are what are going to become us eventually, way down the road. Now let's find that little baby again. Where's that little baby? And let's just spend the rest of the day here uh, getting to know our immediate surroundings. I want, that, I want that other baby, though. Where's the other baby? Stop moving to see all contextual actions. They may vary depending on your situation. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not a baby. Baby. I'm not sure where the other baby is, and I would like to have him before we start this next stuff. Oh, here he is, right where we left him. Come here, my friend. Uh, more accumul more children around means increased, more children around means increased accumulation of neuronal energy. So now you see I've got one on my back and one on my chest, which is what we want. These are our beds. This is where you'll lie down to go to sleep at night. This is an elder and we can inspect the elder. It'll tell us more about him. This is Du, he's an elder male, single. And now, let's use our intelligence here in this area. It'll tell us that there are things around that we should learn about. Something over there we can learn about. I think those are rocks. Something over there that may be rocks as well. That's a dead branch. We already know what that is. That was the very first thing we picked up. There's a plant over there that we sh should get to know about. Some plants over there that we should learn about. Or maybe that may be a fishing spot there. More plants. Alright. This this isn't going to do us much good until we actually start learning about this stuff. You see the sun is going down. We're coming to the end of our first day. Uh, so I've grabbed that item. I'm going to dismiss that. And now hold Q to inspect what I just picked up, which is the horse tails. <laughs> We've discovered a new food. Now, if we eat this food, we gain a little buff, which tells us that we are now slightly protected from breaking bones, from broken bones, if you see down in the lower left-hand corner. Also, because our clan is here with us, they're watching what I do, and they're doing the same thing. So we've, we're eating stuff. It's giving us a buff. It's protecting us against broken bones. And if you break a bone, eating some horse tail will help heal that broken bone. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I didn't mean to pick up this third piece of horse tail. I'm just gonna finish it off right now. But we need to get some water here now too. So I'm gonna scoop up some water that I don't know anything about and inspect it. Yeah, that tastes like fresh, fresh drinkable water. All right, good. So now we can actually drink up and our clan will see me doing it and come over and do some drinking too. Excuse me, I was drinking here, my friend. Pardon me. Excuse me. All right, whatever. And I think that the the green circle in the in the center of the screen at the bottom is your health, is your overall status. That's taking into account your food, water, and rest. Uh, so when it's blinking, like it was when I was drinking, that means it's it's going up. So as long as it's blinking. I'm adding, and now it's done, it's finished blinking, so we're not getting, we've drunk all the water we can drink. And it's getting late, and we need to go to sleep, but here is some more food. Let's take out this last little bit of food here before we go to sleep. We'll inspect these berries. We've discovered a new type of food. Let's taste them. Ah, camera. So we're picking and eating food and assimilated nutrients of the berry kind of food. And now it's getting dark and it's time for us to go to sleep. So let's go over to one of the beds. You know, before we go to sleep, let's just try to, let's see if we can make friends with one of the females here. Let's see if we can get this off to a good, this is an adult male, Gua. This is an adult female, and she's single. This is Boo. Shall we try to make nice with Boo? Let's do that. 
so we're gonna get behind her. And we're gonna groom her, aren't we? It's not giving me the option to groom. It's very late now. Let's just go to sleep and we'll take this up in the morning. So head over to one of our beds. Oh, you know why I wasn't... I've still got something in my hand. That's why I wasn't giving me the groom option. See, there's a little bit of berry in my hand there. I just got to drop it. And now we can... Well, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock at night. I, I think we might have time to try to make nice with one of these females here. I mean, time. we've got all the time we need. We can just sleep in in the morning. But we do want to make the most of the daylight when it's up. All right, so now I'm going to groom her. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hold down the right mouse button until I hear a little chime. I hope that you guys are going to be able to hear the chime. There we go. So I released the button when I heard the chime, and that increased our bonding. Oops, I released it too late there. It's like a little click chime. I hope you can hear it. All right, we have formed a couple. She is now my mate. That's good. And instead of getting busy tonight, why don't we just call it a night? It's getting cold and wet anyway, so we're just going to call it a night. Hopefully the rain will stop overnight. We're going to lie down. We're going to put our children down and then go to sleep. And hold, I'm going to hold Z to sleep here. Still holding it, still holding it. You'll be asleep as long as you're holding it down. And I'm dreaming about some of the stuff I saw and did today. All right, sun's up. Rain has stopped. We're a little low on water. We could use some more sleep. Why don't we sleep for another hour as long as we're here? I said sleep for another hour. No kidding. All right, and then pick our little hitchhikers up again head back and do some more stuff. Eventually we're going to get out into the forest, but there's still plenty of stuff for us to learn about here in our immediate surroundings. So let's do that. Uh, here are some rocks. We'll grab one of those. We've never, apparently never seen a rock before, so we have to inspect this rock. Now, they, they call it a... a tool. It's not really a tool yet, is it? But eventually somewhere down the road it will. I'm going to drop the rock over here so I know where it is. I think there are other types of rock here. Yeah, this is another type of rock. That's obsidian. It's going to be useful for making more tools later. Let's see what else new and interesting we can find around here. Got a piece of grass. This is the grass that you'll use to make a bed when you move to a new area. I assume. I've never actually done that, by the way. Drop. There's something else going on over here. Yeah, there's, there's this area here. wants me to inspect. Can I inspect this? Yeah. So this is a fishing spot. We cannot fish right now. We don't have any tools with which to do it. But making that, making those tools isn't very hard. Let's get some food as long as we're here. Now that the kids are learning that they can eat this too, just by being on my back. Let's get some water. The circle at the bottom, the overall size of the green circle, 
um, shows you your life expectancy. So the, the red bar around the outside is just basically showing you that you're, you're aging. I think that's probably about it for good stuff that we can do here. Uh, as far as, now that we're, we've learned what some of this stuff is, we can actually identify it. Now these bramble bushes, these are just barriers basically, and these will never, you'll never be able to identify these as far as I've learned, as far as I've seen. Um, they just remain unknown to you because they're kind of hazardous. Let's just make sure we know what everything else in the area is. That's grass that we've already identified. That's more of the grass. Dead branches. Oops. Now all this stuff is increasing our XP just by looking at this stuff and identifying it. We're increasing our XP and we're making our ourselves more comfortable with our surroundings. And when we've accumulated enough neural energy, or they call it neuronal energy, uh, we'll be able to level up our brains. And then those other two, I think, are the brambles. Yeah, that's the brambles. Okay. All right, I think we've identified everything that we can see here. Oh, there's something up there. That's a... There's a beehive up there. We should go check that out. And there's something there. So we've just kind of marked our location. We've identified enough stuff here that we've now, we, we now know where we are. We're in the jungle, baby. The graphics are nice. Like I said, I've seen better, to be honest. So there's something going on up in the sky. I think basically what this is doing is, is giving you a reason to get out away from our starting camp here. It wants us to go check out that meteorite that just fell from the sky. So we have evolved a little bit. We still got two babies on us. Good. We have matured a neuron. Good. Now, like I said, I'm not very good at this this swinging stuff yet. We've got a good chance of breaking a limb here, but let's see how we do. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh gosh, that was close. All right. Well, we're down on the on the jungle floor here. A little bit dangerous down here. Let's just look around and see what see what our senses tell us. Rocks, we know what those are. Don't know what that is. We should probably head over there and check that out eventually. A hiding spot, good to know. You know, this seems... Uh, I mean, from a gameplay perspective, just sitting here kind of identifying stuff doesn't seem like the most exciting thing, way to spend your time, but th that's our home base up there. That We'll all be, be able to see that in our intelligence um, view. So we'll always be able to get home. There's something that, unknown to us up there. We should probably go up there and check that out. Let's... Let's memorize that location by holding E. Try to get up there. Oh, 
But as I was saying, from a gameplay perspective, maybe not the most engaging gameplay to, to just sit there and, and look at stuff. But I mean, what do, what do what do hominids do all day? What do they? They don't really. Oh shoot! All right, that that wasn't such a bad jump. But now we got to get back up to where that thing that we wanted to identify was. Shoot, where is it? Oh, the camera. Oh my gosh. The camera's not terrible, but there are it, there are moments where it gets a little frustrating. Uh, I memorized that location and now it's gone. Where'd it go? No, we don't want those. I do want to know what that is. So we'll, we'll memorize this now instead. Maybe that's the same thing that we were looking for before. I don't know. It's up at the top of that skinny tree. Jump down. Yeah. So, so what do what do primates do all day? What do they? They just sit around looking at stuff, right? I mean, this is pretty much it. All right. Here's another thing. Should be able to grab it if we get close enough. All right. And we will inspect it. What is this? It smells like something I could rub on my body. So, Kapok fiber. I'm going to apply it to myself. This is going to give me a little bit of a buff, a protection against bleeding, against lacerations. And if you get cut and are bleeding... Finding one of those Kipok fibers to rub on yourself will stop the bleeding. Let's see what else we got going on up here. Dead branches, we know what those are. There's somebody up there. A dead hominid. Someone died already. No, I don't think it was one of our clan. Oh, yeah, one of our adults died somehow. If you look at the the, the thing on the lower right-hand corner, one of our adults is missing. Should we get something to eat? We we're just sitting here. Oh, this is a new... So we haven't encountered this yet. So now we have to inspect this flower. It turns out that this flower is cot, which is an addictive drug-like <laughs> substance. Um, and if we eat it, we get buffs to protect us from breaking bones and from cold. So if it starts raining, we can eat some of that cot to stay warm. It is almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm trying not to get too far away from home base here on our first day out in the wild. Oh, I hear a boar. we got to get up into the trees. Go, 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 go. All right, there, there he is. Whoa, I did not mean... See? The, the controls. I don't know how you're supposed to not sprint without jumping. So there's the boar right there. Oh, and he's seen me. But he's not going to be able to do anything to us as long as we're up here. It is draining our stamina slightly to just be hanging onto the edge of the tree like this. So let's see if we can find some place to sit. Okay. And what else we got around here? Dead branches. More k -pop fiber. At the end of our little jaunt today, we're going to go back and we're going to level up our brains a little bit. And that'll give us more interesting things to do tomorrow. Can you get down off there, please? Let go. Let go. Thank you. 
But it is good to know where all this stuff is. You're going to need it in an emergency. So that... What's that? A hiding spot. Yeah, these diamonds we're going to have to go check out. They're farther away and we have no idea what they are. A lot of dead branches. There's there's somebody down on the on the f on the floor of the jungle there. There's one of our peeps is that that may be a stranger. We could add him to our clan by giving him stuff that he likes. I've never actually done that though, so I don't know. I'm just trying to get down off this tree. Thank you. All right, it's going to be getting dark soon. I think we'll start heading back. We've lost our buffs. Let's just get a couple more scans here. There's something new we've never seen before. Let's go check that out. Inspect this large rock. So this is a liftable rock that we could probably use to make more tools and such. Can we lift it now? Apparently not. Alright, let's start heading back. We've done a little bit of getting to know the area today. Just make sure I know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm going up there. It is dangerous to be down here on the jungle floor like this, but my my jumping skills are just so bad that... Whoa! That's why it's dangerous. Alright. Oh, there he is. See the big green snake down there? On my right side? He's just sitting there right now. He won't climb up here after us. But yeah, let's get off the jungle floor. And we found a warthog. Good. We're learning all sorts of stuff today. Uh, that's a long jump. And the snake's right below us. Let's go this way. I'm starting to get a little tired now. The sun going down. It's time to get back. I haven't really eaten much or drank much today either. There's a bird we've never seen before. Yeah, I'm not getting a I'm not getting a read off that bird, but there's some stuff we haven't seen yet over here. So the in the, in the lower right hand corner that the middle of that circle is kind of your XP meter every time I, I add one of these to my knowledge base that middle white circle gets a little bit bigger and when it reaches a certain size that's when you're you'll be ready to level up that brain cell basically home. I just gotta get over there without falling and dying. Oh! 
Ugh. I missed it. We'll be able to get there from here, don't worry. Might take a little longer. But it's not even 8 o'clock yet. This is tiring, though, hanging onto the cliff like this. I thought it was going to be able to make it past that little outcropping there, but maybe not. Yeah, he's tired now. Oh, well, just sit here and rest for a minute. Uh, if I, if I'm not really sure where I am, I can call to my people. Yeah, they'll answer back, so I can track them that way. All right, now we've still got. It's not that late yet. We've still got some energy. Let me just get a sip of water, and then maybe we'll get our get our mate on with our mate. super hungry, but maybe I'll eat one of these berries. And now on a... No, drop that. Now on a full stomach. Let's put the babies down. And call our mate. I've forgotten her name already, which is really rude, considering she's my mate. But she's going to come over. Get busy. And when we're done mating, we will evolve. We will spend our the XP that we've earned. Yay, she's pregnant. Well done. Thank you. Um, do we want her to give birth right now? Not yet. Let's evolve first. Let's do a little evolution. So... We can add neurons to our motricity, to our communication skills, or to our intelligence. Um, let's start with motricity because we want to get our hands. We want to upgrade our motor skills. The ability to switch hands with an item is acquired. Tap X to switch hands with an item. That's going to be very useful in terms of making tools. That fires up some new neurons for us to upgrade, but not yet. Let's upgrade one of the other basic ones. Um, communication I'm not too worried about. Let's go with intelligence. We now have the range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. And do I have one more I can spend? Yes. Kinesics, the ability to gather all clan members is acquired. Hold the right mouse button to gather all clan members and have them follow you. I think that's going to be everything we can do today. Yeah, that's it. All right, we got to get our smell going. This is my, I have a natural increased ability to metabolize food. It's just something that was I was born with that's genetic. And I think that's it for neuronal upgrades here. But the upgrades that we did do, uh, the handling is going to be a big deal. We'll do that in the morning. Dismiss that. Um, should we let her give birth? I mean, let her, you know, we, we can urge her to give birth right now. Let's go ahead and do that before we go to sleep. This is a 40 second to one minute cutscene. It is skippable. We'll watch it this first time.
Now the number of babies that you have determines how many of the skills that you've acquired you're going to be able to carry over to the next generation. So you want to be adding as many babies to your clan as you can. And with that in mind, we're going to immediately get her pregnant again. We're still in year one. It's still early. She's pregnant again. Um, should we let her be pregnant or should we force her? Let's let her be pregnant for now. And we'll come back and have her give birth tomorrow. I'm sure that was exhausting. That's enough for one day. I'll pick two of these bebes up and bring them with me. Let's go out the other way this time. We've gone out over the waterfall a couple of times now. Let's go the other way. There's going to be new stuff to check out over here. Oops. Rocks. Something new. That may be a a bramble bush. Or it could be a new type of food. Yeah, that's just that's just one of these bramble bushes that I can't identify. New kind of rock. Inspect it. All right, we've discovered a new tool. This is basalt. Um, and uh, let's demonstrate the new ability that we acquired to switch hands. Let's see, is there a, are there any dry branches around? There are dry branches back in the base. But trying to up my XP here, scan all this stuff. These are just um, bramble bushes. I'm not gonna be able to identify those. All right. Well, let's go back to base where there we know there's a dry branch, and we will make ourselves a tool. So switch hands with X, then pick up one of the branches. Let's go over out of this mess here. And now switch hands back again, and now we can try to alter this. And again, this is with the uh, chime. So you're gonna you're gonna hold the button, and then you're gonna release it when you hear the chime. Oops, my finger slipped. We've learned. Ah, I broke it. I waited too long on that last chime there. I gotta switch hands to get the... Switch hands again. Try this again. All right. We learned that hitting that smacking a dead branch with basalt is something that we can do, and it will alter the stick. Now we've got a new stick that we can inspect. We've discovered a stick! Let's switch hands back again and alter this again.
All right. We have discovered that we can further alter a stick using basalt to turn it into a different type of stick. Inspect that stick. And we have discovered a sharpened stick. Excellent. Now, I think that if you take a sharpened stick over to one of these fishing spots, yes, you can poke around down in there. And we stabbed something. We found out how to get food at a fishing spot using a stick. And we can inspect our new food. We discovered crayfish. Now I believe that you have to cook these. I don't think... Alter. No, I don't think we can alter this again. Can we? Yeah, okay. We, well, we took the crayfish off of there. Now I just gotta drop everything. Drop. Switch. Drop. And now I can pick this up. But I don't... I don't think this is good for us to eat. No, 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 no. It made us sick. Yeah, it made us sick. Shoot. Alright, well, we are not going to be super effective with this upset tummy here. I'm not sure... I think there is something you can eat to soothe your tummy, but I don't know what it is. I'll try some of this stuff. Uh, that didn't help, really. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be going out again today with this upset stomach. We'll probably just hang around here at base camp. Should we... Maybe we'll give... We'll ask our mate to give birth again. Since we don't really want to leave the base camp too much. Well, we, we could go out this way a little bit. It's not going to kill us to go out this way. And we'll carry our little stick around. We can use it for defense a little bit, but it's not going to help us out that much. And... Besides, I suck. The, the controls for dodging and fighting are just completely weird, bizarre, and uh, I've never actually successfully dodged a single attack. What we haven't really used so far is our smelling, so why don't we try that out? Hold on. I'm still looking at stuff, but we'll smell stuff in a minute. Again, just build an XP by getting to know everything in our environment. Alright, now let's try smelling. Alright, here are our smells. Oh, there's nothing... Oh, there's some stuff for us to smell. Hold on. We don't know what that is. Let's go find out. Can I inspect it? No, I said inspect it. What happened? Inspect it. Ah, mushrooms. I'm thinking those would... Could even oh that actually seemed to cure my stomach ailment. Well, that's good to know. Agaric fungus is good for tummy ailments. Excellent. And now we know what that smell is too. So let's go back to our our smell thing and see what else there is to smell. Here. Oh, that was my that was my call. Hold on. All right. So now we know what that smells like. Anything else to smell around here? Not so much. No, okay, so those are more of the fungus. Again, all this is just adding to our neuronal XP. 
that is one of the I think that was the first oops well eating that yeah oh it gave me an upset stomach but it also seemed to protect me from something I'm not sure what that oh yeah I'm pretty sick now Ugh. yeah all right let's head back So eating that fungus once, I think, cured my tummy ailment, and then eating it again actually made me sick. And I think he's getting a little tired now. It's getting late. And he's not feeling well. He's been sick twice today. I think we should just go back and lie down. Maybe have another baby and call it a night. I think that the females here can only procreate twice. So after our mate gives birth here, uh, we are going to have to find a new mate. Um, so lie down, drop the child, drop the child, call the mate. Little guys clipping through each other. Hi, would you please give birth? Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this cutscene by holding what is tab for me, but if you're on the game controller, it's whatever button they asked you to use to clear those messages off the screen. Just hold it down. All right, and we got a new baby. And now I think I'm just gonna lie down and we're gonna, well. I think we've got one neuron that we can upgrade. Let's do that. Do we want to go dexterity or intelligence? Well, we haven't upgraded this at all, so let's upgrade this. Oh no, we, we did. We don't have anything else to, to upgrade there. All right, let's go with dexterity. Item manipulation, the ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving is acquired. Okay, so you had to stop before. I think that's it, right? No, I got one more. Spatial perception, the range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. Alright, I think that's all we can do here. No, I got another one. On the dexterity branch. Let's go ahead and do that. Handling. The ability to drop an item while moving is acquired. Oh, good. Because I was wondering why I couldn't drop that stuff while moving. Alright. Alright. All right, I think we're done there. And I think we're going to call it an episode here as we lay ourselves down to sleep for the night. Uh, we will call this an episode. We've got two babies. We got a sharpened stick. We've learned a lot about our environment by observing, using our senses, our sight, our smells, our sounds. And we will continue expanding the clan in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. There'll be more to come down the road. Stay safe, survivors.